Hello Spider F3 owners, Brandon here with SlingMods.com and today we have our rear saddlebag LED reflector kit for the Can-Am Spider F3T and F3 Limited. Back in 2018, we launched our rear LED fender reflector kit for the Spider F3 and F3S. Well, we now have a solution for those of you with the F3T and F3L models. As you know, there's a factory installed reflector on each side of the saddlebags that don't illuminate. So we partnered up with our friends over at Trick LED to bring you a saddlebag reflector kit that also features LED illumination, taking your boring OE reflectors from this to this. Now, for those of you that park outside at night, we've kept the reflective properties in place with DOT style reflective lenses, so that when your spider ignition is off and parked, they'll still reflect light just like the OE reflectors did. These saddlebag LED reflectors drastically increase your likeliness of being seen while out on the open road, and include OE style connectors for a mostly plug and play installation. Now let's get started with the install. Now before we get started, make sure your ignition is in the off position. Start by opening both rear saddle bag doors. And unscrew the cable holding the door open. So that the door can pivot open a little bit more, allowing you to gently take it off the pivot points. Now you can briefly use a heat gun or a hair dryer to warm up the reflector adhesive and then use a plastic pry tool to carefully remove the stock reflector. Then align the new LED reflector over the same position and mark with a pen where the wire hole will need to be drilled in order to pass the wire through. Next take a 5 16 drill bit and carefully drill a hole where your mark is. Now take your LED reflector, pass the wire through the hole, and test fit it to make sure it lines up. And then do that same thing for your other door. Pry off the stock reflector. Align the new reflector and mark where the hole needs to be for the wire to pass through. Drill out your mark with a 5 16 drill bit. And then pass through the wire and test fit the LED reflector to make sure it lines up. Next, thoroughly clean the surface area on both doors with the included alcohol prep pad. Let that dry for a minute. And then take the primer stick and thoroughly coat the same surface area. And once that's dry, pass the wire of the LED reflector through the hole. Peel off the protective backing tape. Align it so it's centered. And then press down firmly to adhere it in place. And then do that same process for the other side. Pass through the wire. Peel off the protective backing tape. Make sure it's centered. And then press down firmly to adhere it in place. Now you can remove these three T30 torque screws and one push pin from the tail light cover. So that you can slightly pull back on that taillight cover just enough to access the factory taillight harness. Once you locate the harness, remove this safety clip so that you can disconnect the harness. And plug in the new OE style harness from the kit. Then crimp on bullet connectors to both ends of the black and white wires of your LED. Add a dab of dielectric grease. 
and plug in the black bullet connector to the black wire on the OE style harness. And then the white wire to the orange wire on the new harness. And just disregard the three remaining female bullet connectors since those will not be used in this application. Now go ahead and wrap those with some electrical tape. And bundle up all excess wire, leaving a little bit of slack for the small white plug at the bottom. Now pass the LED wire through this opening on the door hinge. Next you can attach the door back up to the bike. Add some dielectric grease and plug in the small white connector for your LED. Wrap it up with some electrical tape. Then pull out any excess slack in the wire and zip tie it to the OE style harness so that it's up and out of the way of any and all moving parts, including the exhaust. Now you can reinstall the push pin, tighten down those three T30 Torx screws, and reattach the cable holding the door. Then close the door and turn on your ignition to make sure it works. And then repeat that same process for the other side. Remove the three T30 Torx screws and pop out that push pin. Unplug the factory harness and plug in the new OE style harness. Crimp bullet connectors onto the LED reflector wires. Add a dab of dielectric crease and plug in the white wire into the orange wire. Then black wire to the black wire. And wrap those with some electrical tape. Now pass the LED wire through the opening on the hinge. Attach the door. Add some dielectric grease and plug in those white connectors. Wrap them with electrical tape. Tuck in any excess wire and zip tie it to the OE style harness so that it's up and out of the way of any and all moving parts. And then all you have to do is reinstall that push pin and those three T30 Torx screws. Reattach the cable holding the door. And test it to make sure it works. Now that we've completed the installation of the Saddlebag LED Reflector Kit, I think it's safe to say that these look fantastic once installed and take the rear end of the F3 up a few notches in the sexiness scale. Now if you'd like to take your Spider F3 from this to this, then be sure to click that product link in the description below to grab an LED Reflector Kit for your Spider. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date with everything Spider. I'm Brandon, signing out. Till next time.